All right, welcome all. Thanks for tuning in. For uh, for the guys that uh, and, and you know the ladies and gents that stop by the channel often enough um, for the for the walkthroughs here and are perhaps looking forward to a little Unity uh, Assassin's Creed Unity getting up here on the channel. Uh, well, this uh, this video can certainly act as a bit of an update for that. Uh, for the rest of you that have maybe filtered in here are looking, you know, perhaps you have a, a similar a GPU to mine or similar graphics card, right? Similar rig, and you're looking for a little footage before you make the decision and go ahead and buy the game. Um, this is, uh, I wanted to get a video out there where you could find some of that and maybe get a few answers. I'm going to list uh, all of my settings, kind of my thoughts on the kind of performance that you're really not going to see come across in this video. And, uh, and also the frame rate is there. It should be there in the, in the upper right-hand corner at any given time. Cross the video. Um, you may have to uh, go full screen to actually see that, though. But uh, I'll, you know, I, but I'll clear, clarify that frame rate as well at some point in the vid. So uh, I'm hoping that this is somewhat helpful. This is a GTX 760. Okay, super clocked, two gigs of VRAM on it. Um, and uh, I've got the i5 4670K at uh, 4.1, and I've got 16, um, 16 gigs. Of, of RAM as well, so that's kind of the the rig that I'm that I'm working with, and I was really nervous, you know. Once I saw the minimum specs come into this game, I was looking forward to getting this game, and uh, once I saw the minimum specs show up, I thought, oh, well, this is <laughs> this is not gonna be this is not gonna be good. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to run this right, and uh, perhaps if you have found this video, you you could be in the same boat as me. So you know, I, I decided I was gonna throw the money at it anyway. You know, it's not gonna be too long before I get an upgrade or two for the PC for the current rig, and I thought, you know, I'll throw some money at it, and hopefully it'll run. And if it doesn't, well, then it can sit there and collect a little dust for a little while. And when I get my upgrades, or my upgrade, um, I'll come back and revisit the game. But for the most part, the game is running pretty well. You know, it's got its issues. I'm not going to lie. There's no... There is... You know, everybody kind of screams this lack of optimization. There's poor performance. And it's true. There really is. I have... You know, the game looks pretty good. I'd really love to experience uh, kind of flawlessly played uh, with it with just a beastly rig. But I don't have the means to, to whip something like that together. Um, but, uh, you know what? It, it looks like it's a pretty good good game you know um, as far as gameplay goes the vibe of the character the way he moves through the map uh, hopefully I get some good footage of of the uh, the various animations that you're gonna encounter while he's parkouring or, or wall climbing uh, leaping from ledges etc etc there's a lot more variety in there from what I remember now I haven't played every Assassin's Creed in the series you know I, I played the original going all the way back on the on the consoles and uh, I played uh, Brotherhood on uh, on on live Assassin's Creed Brotherhood on on live I have a, a cloud streaming service. Uh, this is kind of my first Assassin's Creed on PC. I haven't played too many of the games, but I do. I have enjoyed the ones. I've spent a lot of time with the ones that I did play, you know. So I was really looking forward to getting into this for the channel. And, and just having a good time. And, you know, as far as the movement and the fluidity of, uh, of Arno, the character we play, goes, uh, it's really nice. And even the combat, now, it feels like it's changed a little bit. It feels a little stiffer, but it feels a little bit heavier. It feels a little more consequential. You know, you, 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 every, every move you make, um, if you don't time your attacks out well and your, your, you know, your dodges and your parries, which are quite obvious, you know, uh, you could end up on the receiving end of, uh, you know, the business end of a blade if you're not careful, you know. So the combat feels nice once you get used to it. I think it may be a, a kind of a shift in gears as to what some of you may be used to uh, across, you know, Black Flag and other titles. But uh, again, it's been a while since I've played Assassin's Creed. I've spent some time with Mordor lately, and it's not like that. It's much... It's, uh, there's a lot more, it's, it's a little more methodical, I'd say, you know, um, but, uh, the, uh, the movement I give, I give, you know, a great grade to that's really nice, it feels great when you're running through the city, and when you get into some scraps, at least the ones I've been in so far. Now, as far as, you know, kind of performance goes in my current settings, let's run them down as quickly as possible. So, it is the GTX 762 gigs, the i5 4670K at 4.1 and 16 gigs of RAM, remember that, okay? Now, it's, uh, it's running at 1080p in game. It's uh, 60 hertz. It's borderless window mode. It's uh, and the VSync is off. You know, and those last two, I think they really do play a bit of a factor in in kind of a stable, stutter-free experience, um, smooth frame rate experience. 
environment uh, settings are set to high textures are set to high so it's basically running on high but some of the benefits uh, you know of, of the PC version of the game are just not going to be coming across you, there are sacrifices that are going to have to be made you're not going to get full ultra or even full blow and high with with all the special effects with your 760 with this game in particular you know you have to make the willing to come into this and make some compromises shadows are set to low and uh, the AO or sorry the ambient occlusion SSAO so it's the weaker of the two possible options uh, the uh, the anti alias scene is basically it's the lowest of the low with the FX AA but it does a nice job of it you know uh, you don't want to go bare bones and just strip it down entirely however it's a bit of a performance killer if you go up into the SMSAA or if you even try the TXAA with your with your card with this card in particular you're gonna have some serious performance issues FX AA does a pretty good job of softening up those edges but like I said stick with the FX AA uh, because if you don't you're gonna get a lot of those jagged <laughs> those jagged edges just all over the place and it's gonna look nasty you know uh, currently it doesn't look too bad it could look a little crisper and that's kind of the side effect of the FXA you lose that crispness in the textures it softens things out blurs things out just a little bit too much the bloom is on in here and it certainly does play a factor as the game looks great at some time you know the, the lighting and the contrast uh, it really does look nice uh, it's uh, when you when you're in that right location kind of especially when you're coming in or out of a building there's some really great effects that take place there so basically I'm running on high now my frame rate up in the upper right hand corner I don't know if you're gonna see it I, I would say I bounced around 25 during some heavy action sequences and where there were a lot of NPCs out there strolling the grounds and there were some uh, you know some really gorgeous lighting effects coming in as well uh, down to 25 was uh, kind of my minimum but uh, at times I was really running a uh, kind of a, a stable 40 you know so the dips down f to 25 my, my highs were maybe 45 48 50 and uh, probably centered around 37 to 40 frames per second you know which isn't too bad I mean it was pretty good now there is this there is I don't, I don't know how to describe it there's this real persistent stutter that can happen if you don't set your settings up if you try and exceed things you know I'm not sure what fixed it but when I first sat down with the game I was getting this constant this constant stutter this constant little skip every 10 seconds or so where there was just this very quick this really violent uh, drop in frame rate and then it was right back up again you know and uh, it creates this little skip effect and it, it, it I mean it's bearable it's playable but it's a bit of a nuisance and can really um, it can be off-putting when you're when the when the action is heavy it seems to uh, rear its ugly head uh, during missions for me in particular you know I don't know if it's gonna you're gonna see much of that here in this video but uh, it did show up quite a few times in missions um, since uh, since beyond this footage that you you're currently watching right now so with the settings as you currently see it, it did get a little a little bit more choppy and of course uh, with me I think maybe because of my limitations with the, with the two gigs on the GPU uh, of, of VRAM I think uh, you know after a certain amount of time I just the, the gameplay experience starts to get a little too choppy it, it slowly eases itself in where you start to feel that stuttering picking up a little bit more often and uh, a reboot does solve the problem but you could be shutting down every hour or 45 minutes just to uh, to, to, to keep the experience somewhat smooth, you know, but uh, for the most part, you know, I, I am, I'm enjoying the gameplay, okay, the performance uh, does need a little work, it could have used a little more tender love and care, it could have probably, you know, the game probably could have been uh, better optimized, as many like to say, that word gets thrown around a lot with the, with the more recent Ubisoft titles, and uh, people just seem to think that they have, you know, in many ways they neglect the uh, the PC release. They just don't show it the same love. They focus on the consoles because ultimately that's where the money is to be made, you know. And it's a little bit easier to kind of just develop for that standard hardware. Uh, so I, I kind of, you know, I understand both sides, but... Uh, I, I, a little disappointed with the performance. I was hoping I'd be able to run the game a little bit, a little bit better with the GTX 760. But I'm happy. I'm happy to just be in there playing it, and uh, it's it's a pretty good time. So if you really want to play the game and you have this, the 760, you're probably going to be able to play it pretty well. You know, as you're seeing it here, uh, you get into some of the missions, you're going to start getting that stuttering kicking in, and uh, you know, the the longer your session carries on, you, you run the risk of probably, um, you know, having to maybe power down and and reboot the game. Just 
just to uh, you know, just uh, I don't know, just just to clean out the, the RAM, I guess. I don't know exactly what causes it, but it seems to get a little bogged down and a little choppy, the and it translates into kind of choppy gameplay. Uh, the other thing that I do, and I've been doing this since Watch Dogs, for if you know, I, I do have a full walkthrough of Watch Dogs on the channel, and uh, I was. Uh, um, I, I suffered from, and I, I still continue to, to, to this day with the game, still continue to suffer from some real stuttering and freezing. It was a big issue across the PC community with the Watch Dogs release. And uh, my, one of my major workarounds after several tweaks to settings, etc., etc., was to basically just go into offline mode on Uplay. It was, and, and it was amazingly, you know, shutting down Uplay, uh, Uplay's presence, kind of presence there in the game where, you know, I'm sure data's getting filtered to them, you know, for leaderboards, etc etc et um it just it, it completely solved my problem so i've kind of adopted that and carried that over to assassin's creed unity as well um i am running it in offline mode most of the time but that may not be uh, that may not benefit a lot of you guys that want to get in here for some co-op and for, for some multiplayer action uh so you know i would recommend if you if you have if you've have a similar rig to, as I do, and you have all the settings set up as I do, and you're really suffering from some some uh, some constant, persistent, incessant stuttering. Then I would I would recommend you know going in and uh, at the very least shut down the uh, disable the UPlay overlay and disable the uh, the cloud synchronization you know for the save games and uh, just limit you know it, the UPlay's presence the the app's presence in your gaming experience and if worse comes to worse well try it in offline mode it may help it may not I'm not really sure it may just be something that I benefit from and no one else does I don't really know uh, hopefully you all found this helpful and. Uh, uh, you know, maybe you'll sub and come back, and there will be a walkthrough here on the channel. Or I don't really do a walkthrough; I do more of a let's play. It's more just for fun and uh, some good gameplay, some good commentary, and maybe you'll stop on in. Um, that'll be rolling out and picking up soon. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the vid, and until next time, well, remember why it hurts. You were always later. Oh, you were worse one. one of my father's suits <laughs> are you wearing a dress oh, don't even start i feel like a mummy wrapped up in this thing must be quite an occasion to get you so fancy it's not like that truth be told it's a lot of ceremony and pontification dollars dead well when you don't invite me to your parties everyone suffers i did try but my father was adamant your father <laughs> go i'll distract them what you're kicking me out it's Complicated. I'll explain later, but for now, out the window. Oh, no, no, no. You're not turning this into a repeat of that apple orchard. Stop being such a baby. I'm sure there aren't any guard dogs this time. Go! Oh, my! Now, what's that this billiard room at all? Was it? Yeah. Of time. There's nobody out here.